Hey guys, welcome to a brand new series. I'm gonna build a zoo in Minecraft. One of my favorite things that I've ever done. Oh my gosh, look behind me. You're already getting a sneak peek of the wildlife. One of my favorite things that I've ever done in this game was to build a zoo when I was playing the FTP mod pack way back in the day. And uh, it's actually one of the more requested things that I do. Like everybody talks about this. Oh my gosh, I love rhinos. I should probably keep my distance though. Should probably keep my distance. This is a vanilla series after all. These guys are gonna wreck my face if I get too close. Um, so I thought, let's build a zoo then. Let's do it. I wanna do it all over again and I wanna do it right this time. Now, the one thing that, I probably shouldn't have done that, I might need those. The one thing that I realize is, I can't possibly build a zoo of just cows and pigs and sheep and horses and all that stuff in, in vanilla Minecraft. So I've gone and went with a little bit of, of a mod pack of myself. It is not FTB. It uses a whole bunch of things. The, the main one, the primary one, is the Zoo and Wild Animals mod. It's amazing. You have to feed the animals. You have to tame the animals. There's actual animal feeders. It's meant to have a zoo aspect to it. And each one of the animals, there's different variants, by the way. As you can see, this guy's like a lighter brown. That guy's more of a grayish brown. There's different variants of each animal. So they're not all, they don't all look the same. They each have different natures. So you can get a careful kangaroo and then a, and then a, a timid kangaroo, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's tons of different natures as well. This guy looks more reddish or orangish, I should say. Ooh. Um, I'm also using a couple other mob, mods. Uh, the Biomes of Plenty mod, obviously. You have to use Biomes of Plenty. It should be vanilla, really. And then I'm using Dynamic Trees. This is the Dynamic Trees mod. This mod is incredible. We will get more into that later. But basically, it's like it allows, first of all, these are branches. You can chop, like if I wanted to chop this section right here. Let me show you. Maybe I can do it. Look at that. How cool is that? I now have sticks. I'm going to need those anyway. Um, also, this skin. Check it out. Pretty cool, huh? Looks like a little safari skin. I love it. I actually took the inspiration from someone online. Uh, it was on like one of those skin uh, websites. And I just uh, made some changes and stuff. And added my skin. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks great. I added my face. And I have a 3D beard. And I'm using the slim model. Which makes my head look enormous. Anyway, as I said, this is the Building a Zoo series. So, the way this series is going to work, I'm going to upload probably twice a week, and I'm going to build a zoo. <laughs> I'm going to catch these animals. Hi, buddy. Are you friendly? Kangaroos are friendly. Probably not in real life, though. All you Australians are probably yelling at me like, uh, they're not really that friendly, Beef. Um, yeah, so I'm going to build a zoo little by little. We're going to start with probably a simple animal as our first exhibit. But having said all that, this is still vanilla Minecraft, so this is taking a really long time to chop. Holy crap. Okay, so maybe the thickness of the the wood prevents it from being chopped easily. Yep. Oh, man, that's so cool. And then you get these guys. This is how you plant these new trees. You can still use the saplings. Did it not drop any wood? Oh. Well, oh, here we go. <laughs> I thought for sure it was going to drop some wood. Um, you can still use the, the previous saplings, but these guys actually give you the dynamic trees. So if we want to plant dynamic trees in exhibits and stuff, this is where we want to go. Okay, these kangaroos are looking adorable. First of all, let me get a set of tools ready real quick. We're going to skip through all that. You guys don't have to see it. Bam! Just like that, a set of stone tools. Okay, now let's get the, this, this workbench out of here. And I did see something when I was actually mining for stone, which is... Uh, Pretty lucky already, it's a cave. Um, so here's the thing. The way you trap animals in this mod, there is a tranquilizer gun, there are tranquilizer darts, but you have to transport them using one of two options. One is a net. So basically any animal you catch is gonna be is gonna be sort of nettable. So you can you can actually catch it in a net, transport it any way you want. Man, I don't have any coal. This is kind of a this is kind of a bummer. Maybe I should like Maybe I should chop down another tree and get some charcoal at least. Um, the other way is a truck. <laughs> yes, there are trucks in this. Well, there's a truck in this mod. There might even be more than one, but I think there's definitely one. Um, I am go. What is that? I don't know what that was. 
That was interesting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna build a truck, and we're gonna traverse the land in this in this uh, in this pickup truck. You can actually put the animals in the back of the pickup truck. Uh, it's it's actually a really really cool mod, guys. You guys are you guys are in for a treat. Just stick around, uh, stick with me, kid. It's terrible, terrible joke, terrible accent, terrible everything. Anyway, uh, let me get some charcoal here, and then we'll get to work in that cave. We're gonna need uh, what I was trying to say is we're gonna need a lot of string because each net holds one animal. Uh, here, you know what? I also added the uh, just enough items mod so that we can see stuff. Uh, net. Is that what it's called? Right here. Yeah, the animal net. So each one takes three string or eight string, depending on how you want to build it. I would rather build them the three string way. Um, but each one takes one animal. So if we want to transport more than one animal, we're going to need more than one net. Uh, so we're going to need a lot of nets. But if you want to transport them in style, the animal transport vehicle is where it's at. There's also the tranquilizer gun, which you can use to stun animals and the tranquilizer dart. From what I understand, they're not super useful right now or not super effective, I should say. So maybe we stay away from those and just try to be sneaky with it. Um, you need kibble to tame the animals, so we're gonna have to get some kibble eventually anyways. There are kibble traders that spawn throughout. I think they're just called zookeepers or something. There's a couple of different type of NPCs that spawn wildly throughout the world, uh, but I'm talking too much here and it's getting dark and I have no form of defense other than this lonely sword, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to spend the night caving. You guys are not going to have to see that. I'll do that all by myself. Hopefully we'll get enough iron and other materials to make important things. Well, that was an eventful evening. Whew, it is now daytime. I don't know how long I've been down here. It's probably like noon already. Um, but I'm down to two hearts and four hunger haunches. Uh, that's not good. That's not good, especially since... As I haven't even told you yet, we're not going to kill any animals for food. I mean, if we... Ooh, there's some sugar cane there. I'll go grab that. I might need that later. If we come across uh, an animal that is trying to attack us and murder us, we might have to defend ourselves. But for food, we are killing nothing. Absolutely nothing. We're going to be we're gonna be citizens of the earth in the pursuit of, of teaching everyone uh, about these animals. We're not going to... Oh, berries. We're not going to kill a single thing. So it's going to be a little bit tough for me, especially at the beginning. I should probably set up a wheat farm or something. These berries will do for now. There's probably not even enough to get me back up to to health, though. But is that a half? Oh, yeah, it's a half half hunger each. That's not the greatest. But it's not terrible. Are there any more? There's a few more over there. Anyway, I'm cooking up some iron. I think my first goal should be to grab some wool because we want to sleep away the night. We don't want terrible things trying to attack us. The, um... The zombies and the skeletons and all that wonderful stuff, they're still in the game. So we don't want to deal with them. Or we want to minimize our dealings with them as much as possible. There are also fruit trees, by the way. So this, this uh, uh, what's it called? Dynamic Trees mod. Yeah, this Dynamic Trees mod adds, like, fruits that you can actually, like, physical fruits to trees. I guess appropriate trees because it's not going to add fruits to every tree. Um, but it's really, really cool. I'm really excited about this whole mod pack, guys. I think you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna love it. Our quest for sheep begins. This kangaroo is taking a bath. Ooh, the elusive tree rhino. Um. Okay. So if I was a sheep, where would I be? Probably not here. Oh my gosh! Is that the Asian elephant? That is beautiful. You know what? There's a book. Is it animal? Oh, we want one of these guys. Animal data book. So we need a book, which is... Oh, no. How am I going to get leather without killing cows? That's... I might have to kill some cows. This is terrible news. Maybe the cow will get killed by something else. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe the cow will get killed off camera and you don't even see it. Um, anyway, we need that book because we can right-click animals with that book and it'll tell us exactly what it is, what nature it is. It'll tell us how full it is, how happy it is, all that wonderful stuff. There's things you can do for happiness too, like there's tree swings and balls and um, oh, what was the other thing? There's like three things or something. Oh, and brushes. You can brush the animals. So there's a scratching post here, a waste. That, that's for the park itself, a waste bin. There's even plushies. I can set up a souvenir shop and sell plushies of animals. I'm pumped, guys. I'm pumped. But first, let's get some food in us. There's a zebra. Hi, zebra. Oh, you're beautiful. There's another elephant behind it, I think, way down there. 
Just got to be real careful here because I don't know which of these animals are aggressive and which are not. Do you hear that? Oh. That rhino might not be super happy with us. You know what? Let me get these seeds. I need to set up a, a farm somewhere. Hi. Okay, let's not get too close to the rhino. We're only down to two hearts. One hit by that rhino and we'll probably be done for. <gasps> Is that? Oh, I thought I saw like an apple on the ground or something. Okay. All right. There's the Asian elephant. I think it's the Asian elephant. I'm going to get some of these names wrong. So hopefully you guys forgive me. Aha! A village! This is gonna come in very handy. You know what? I might not even need to kill any cows. Because, ooh, there's a giant ravine in between us and the village. Because they have the libraries, usually. So hopefully this one does have a library. There's a zebra swan. <laughs> there's a zebra on top of that. Holy! That was loud. Something died here. What is that? Oh, I got some meat. I didn't kill it. Raw bird meat. Something attacked the bird or it drowned. And it gave its meat for us, is what I like to think. Oh, this is... Okay, so if the, if the rhinos aren't attacking the villagers, then we should be fine. I could set up a home in this village, actually. No, dude. I want that. Here. Here, I'll re- Oh, you replanted it. Good for you. Oh, potatoes. Yes. Looks like we got a little unlucky. Uh, there are no books in this village, but we're going to keep traveling. We're going to try to find that sheep. The objective is to find that sheep. I think that's going to be the most important thing we do. Oh, look at that elephant. It's a lot darker than the other ones. Speaking of which, there's some more. It's a baby elephant. Oh, man. It's adorable. Okay. There's a lot of elephants here, by the way. This is like uh, Elephant Central. I wonder. You know, there's there's lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Um, they attack like the their prey, their natural prey in the wild. So if we actually come across sort of like a savanna or something or a, or a plains biome, I think they might spawn in plains. We might be able to get some leather from that because the... the uh, the lions are actually doing all the attacking. I mean, and if that happens, it's completely natural, right? It's just nature taking its course. We're not doing anything um, specifically to make that happen. What can you do with this? It's just sticks? Is that all it is? Pretty much. Looks like it's just sticks. Can you craft anything useful out of it? Doesn't look like it. I was hoping you could turn it into maybe something else. But you can't. Uh-oh. That... That looked like an anaconda. Oh, there's chickens over there. Ooh, eggs. Naturally laid eggs from these chickens would be great. For what? I don't know. I can only make cakes out of them, I guess. I'm not going to, like, throw a chicken against the wall and then kill it. Because that would be terrible. Um, oh. What is that? Oh, it's a little toucan. Toucan, be careful. You're right next to an anaconda. At least I think a couple of toucans. That is definitely an anaconda. He's Oh, look at his face. Does he see me? He doesn't seem to be hungry. Otherwise, those toucans would be finished. There's a bunch of toucans here. we got to be careful. I still haven't seen any sheep. There's a bunch of elephants down. Elephant Central over there. We also have, a pick a, we have to pick a spot for our zoo, actually, because I think that'll be important. We want to make our exhibit. The first exhibit we want to make... We want to keep it relatively simple. So if you guys... Ooh, are those like condors or something? I think so. If you guys see some an animal that you think would make a good first exhibit, maybe in honor of all the terrible things that are happening in Australia right now, maybe we start with an Australian animal, like a kangaroo or something. Uh, I think that would be probably the best. Bring awareness to that situation. That what's happening over there is absolutely horrible, and I wish I could do something to help other than donate. Um, I can't exactly fly over there and put fires out myself. I wish I could. I'm sure everybody wishes they could. But uh, maybe that's what we do. Our first animal should be like a kangaroo. Not that there's only kangaroos in Australia, but it's just it's synonymous with Australia. 
right? I think so anyway. So let's do that. Let's let's figure out the kangaroo situation. But before we do that, we have to find a suitable spot. And we have to find some sheep so we can sleep away the night. I spy with my little eye something that is fluffy. It's sheep. You know, for the truck, for the vehicle. Uh, vehicle. Oh, there's two of them. The off-road vehicle. Oh, and the animal transport vehicle. This one is cheaper to build. Because it requires one less wheel. And each wheel is one iron and four wool. So we need eight wool for the for the, the truck. Uh-oh, it's getting dark again. But first we need a bed. Hurry up, get this bed. And then we'll hang around the sheep a little bit. And shear them as they eat. So that we can make the the wheels at least for the for the truck. I think having that truck is going to help us quite a bit. Here, let's do this. Okay, we're finally going to be able to sleep. Let's go down here into this nice little clearing. We have enough for two wheels. All right, now we just need to grab some redstone. We got to grab some iron blocks, which how many iron blocks? I have enough for two iron blocks. Bam. We got to get rid of this stuff. Eventually, we'll collect all these wonderful flowers for our exhibit and stuff. But right now, we don't have the space for it. So I got to go get uh, some redstone. The glass is pretty simple. So I need, what, 10 redstone. That's really not that bad. That's really not that bad. Let's grab this. Ah, oh, I grabbed the garbage again. Um, yeah, let's let's get rid of a bunch of this stuff because we don't need it right now. Uh, I think the rest should be fine to keep. Maybe not that. Um, should I go dig down or should I keep looking for a suitable place for our zoo? Maybe I should go dig down first because then we'll have a vehicle to transport us from A to B. And that's probably going to save us a lot of time. Coming back up for my caving expedition, it was more like a mining expedition, although I did find a cave. I actually found some gold ore, I found 19 redstone, we needed 10 to build this truck, and then I found a bunch more iron ore, which is going to come in handy. Um, we have to make the truck up here, but before we can make the truck, I need sand, and I don't think I'm in a place... Maybe I am in a place that has sand. Maybe not in a place that has sand. What is that? It's a monkey! Or something! A type of monkey. Oh, man, that's so cool. That's so cool. Okay, we got to find sand. Let's let's focus here. Let's see if there's any under, underneath here. This is all gravel. Yeah, I think we got to we got to switch locations here. Okay. Let's continue our travels. I think I have everything I need. I now have extra iron. So let's go. Let's follow the river maybe. Found some sand. Okay. Diving right in. Blunk. Hey, look, it's a little fish. Oh, man. You're adorable. Okay. All we need is one. So that's all we're going to take. Now we got to turn this into glass. And then we can make our truck. Oh, man. I'm pumped about the truck. I am pumped about the truck. Traveling is going to be so much easier. Well, maybe not in here. This is going to be really difficult, actually, with the truck. So maybe we'll find a clearing before we set that bad boy down and start driving. Uh, all right, so I needed to make one of these and then have one of those. Where's that truck again? It's over here. So I need... Okay. That's simple enough. Simple enough. This goes up here. This goes here. This goes here. These guys go there, and these guys go there. I did it wrong. These guys go... Something goes there. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here, let's just do that. Done. Animal transport vehicle. Oh, are you guys as excited as I am to check this thing out? No? Well, you should be. Um, Let's go... Let's try to find a more clear biome that doesn't have a bunch of trees everywhere. Guys, this isn't good. There are lions. Oh, yep. Okay, oh, he's looking right at me. Do you think he can see me? Okay, he changed his mind. Check out the cool differences in the lion's manes. Oh, there's a tree frog right here. I really want to make a tree frog exhibit. Look at him. This little adorable... He's coming right at me. Oh, he's beautiful. I don't think they're poisonous or anything. No, tree frogs are not poisonous, are they? I think only if you eat them. <laughs> From previous experience. Look at that. 
There's female lions, there's male lions. There's lions with like light colored manes, there's lions with dark colored manes. These lions are actually getting really close to me. I might have to hop in this truck and take off. You know what? Let's let's go this way. These tree frogs, by the way, actually will climb trees and hang off the side of blocks and stuff. It's adorable. Um, we're gonna Ooh. That's a baby lion too. Alright, alright. This is uh not great. Let's cross the river. If we get attacked by a lion, we are done for. Okay, let's go. Let's keep going this way. I picked up a berry. That's nice. Can I plant these berries? No, could just eat them. Oh, all right, that's fine. Eating berries is good. Um, what is this? What is that? Dried bamboo. You can make dried bamboo, dried bamboo blocks. That's interesting. Kind of a cool decoration. Can I plant it again? I can. Some more fish in the water here. There's different types of fish too. That one is similar to the, the one we saw last. But there's different types of fish. Okay, I'm gonna cross here because it looks like there's a clearing. We're gonna set our truck down. Oh, there's more lions over there. Okay. Oh man, look at this. This looks so cool. Are you kidding me? Oh, it doesn't make any sounds yet. I'm sure they're going to add that. By the way, the reason I picked, or one of the reasons I picked this mod, is that, oh, they're going to attack the truck? I don't think so. I think they're okay with the truck being around them. They're one of the reasons I picked this mod. Oh, speaking of, look at, there's a little apple on the tree. You see that? Right above my head there? Apple on the tree. Just saying. I picked this mod because they actively are updating it. So we're going to get some cool new animals, some cool new features in the very near future. Elephants here. I'm just trying to find a place where there, where there isn't wildlife right now so I can settle in and maybe set up a, a quick little farm. And this might be a good place for our zoo. Oh, it's on the bank of a river. I'm not sure how good of a place it is. There's dolphins. <gasps> Lions are attacking the zebras. We're just going to let nature take its course, and we're going to roll on, on in there and try to get that uh, that sweet zebra hide. There's horses over there, too. There's an orca. There's a trader right here. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's just be really careful here. Really careful here. The zookeeper or the... Uh -huh. Ooh. It's loud. Dude, you're in a dangerous place. What do you have? So he wants gold. And you can actually craft gold. Oh, you can buy a net. Guys, we can get our first animal. Hold on. Hold on. Things are about to happen. Okay. Let's just be careful. I just hope the guy doesn't take off or anything. You can craft gold uh, coins with gold bars and nuggets. Um... We can get our first our first net right here, our first animal. Uh, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? I will do this. I will turn that into an ingot. And I think... Right there. So it's two ingots. Sorry, nuggets. Two ingots and a nugget make gold coins. How much does he want for that? Fifteen. All right. So I need to make three... Oh, gosh. That lion is getting so close. My truck looking all majestic and stuff up there. Two? Come on, I need I need more. I need more. Stay away from me, lion. This guy's gonna protect me. I just know it. There's so much wildlife here right now. Oh, easy bunny. You kind of scared me a little bit. Alright, so. I don't think this is enough, actually. Because you get five each, right? And he wants 15. We need one more. Or two more, I should say. Don't go anywhere, buddy. Uh-oh. He's getting real close. I should have brought my tranquilizer. Or I should have crafted a tranquilizer gun. Boom. We have 15 coins. Where'd this guy go? <gasps> no, 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 no. We're buying it. Oh, he just drops it. He's like, take take your net and go. Um, I want these back. Okay. 
Oh, he's after us. Get in the truck. Sorry, little guy. I don't want to hit you. And it's nighttime, too. I need to sleep. The, oh, no. Oh. Oh, this is what happens. When you drive a truck in the... In the... Oh, my gosh. Uh, That guy better not be chasing me. So I need an all-terrain vehicle, not a vehicle, not a, not an animal transport truck. Can I get in there now? Can I jump? I don't think trucks can jump. Okay, okay, that's fine. He's trying. The truck's trying. It's just not wide enough. Okay, that's fine. This is what happens. You get you get beached. You get stranded. You get uh, high centered on our adventures. Can we get out of there first? Yes, we can. Okay, I gotta sleep now. Oh my gosh, I think I just drove into another water thing i did oh all right guys i got the truck out of the water um we are gonna try this net i think we need to try it on something like that okay i don't think they're gonna be aggressive towards me one was right next to me a little while ago bam contains gower get gower and then i think if you right click the back of the truck it transports the Ooh. There it is. Oh. Oh, jeez. He's mad at me. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. We're transporting the Gower. <laughs> I don't know how we pronounce that. That's amazing. Oh, it's really tough to actually drive with this thing on your truck. Um, We got to get out of here. There's way too many lines here. In the meantime, though, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the like button. It uh, costs you nothing, and it makes me feel fantastic. And, yeah, if you're looking forward to more of the series, definitely keep track. I'm going to... What the heck is that? Is that a baby gower over there? I can't really see it with the truck. You see him following? Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that looks like a nice open... We may have also... What? He bit me and killed me through the truck. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.